So, Joni B, what's your opinion on body shaming? Body shaming. Hmm. Really, I don't care. It needs to stop. <laughs> well, that was profound, right? So, you know, it doesn't matter. The whole point is you can't please anybody. You got to please yourself. Um, society are always changing. I mean, look back in the days of Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell. I mean, they were voluptuous women. They were very curvy. And then we move on to another decade and we have Twiggy, who was Twiggy. So, fashion, that stuff is always going to be changing. When I was younger, I had a parent who would ask me if a cupcake was going to take me out on a date. And, or that candy bar going to take you out on a date. Of course they weren't. I really wish they would have, though, because it probably would have been a lot better than people that I dated. But, um that kept me focused in where you had to be thin you had to be thin you had to be thin and i was thin and people were always like oh you're so thin you're so sickly oh la 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 that lasted what for a while what yeah even after jennifer was born what two weeks after she was born i was down back down to less than i was when i would found i was pregnant with her it was 132 two weeks after she was born I was 127 so it was very important thin 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 um, but then I did get pulled myself out of society and emerged into the lovely life of motherhood and with that blossomed all of this so when my mother died the same pe group of people who were oh you're so thin and sickly whereas you are a big girl really get a life people I mean I could have told you a lot of things about you too but that's you this is me if I want to be a big girl and wear fruit pants then I want to be a big girl and wear fruit pants um, trust me I'm not gonna wear no halter top because you know it all looks too good under here to share with you no 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 Let's keep a little bit of mystery, a little bit of hiddenness. I mean, when I lost my boobs, trust me, it was a mystery. It was. <laughs> so you just never know, too, what a person is going through. Uh, and you say something to them. You don't know why they've lost weight, why they've gained weight. Maybe they have a condition, like an autoimmune disease, which causes them to gain weight. Or maybe vice versa, they're on some kind of medication that makes them lose weight. So why don't you just stay in your lane? Don't worry about who's curvy, who's skinny, if they're happy and they're healthy. That's what we should say. Hey, you know, you're looking great today. You know, you, you have a glow about you. So encourage that. Encourage their demeanor. So if they are gloomy and depressed, you know, say, hey, I noticed that you're not shining as much as you were. Is there anything you need to talk about instead of, oh, girl, have you been hitting those pints of chocolate ice cream? Hmm? No, come on. And if you are being body shamed, try to block it out because it really doesn't matter what they say, what they think. You have to be happy with you. Um, you were given this. This, this is you. Embrace it. Um, deck it out with fruit leggings or leather pants or blue jeans or whatever. Just feel comfortable in your own skin. If you don't feel that you're very healthy, you know, maybe cut out some sugar or some fried chicken or whatever. But you be you. We weren't all made to be the same. And that's what people need to realize. Not everybody's the same. Not everybody was built the same way, made the same way. We just have to embrace us and be healthy and be happy. And I guess maybe if you really want to, think of some really good comebacks. So if somebody says, you're a really big girl, say, hmm, 
Yes, I am. Too big for you to handle. You know, so just embrace it. Whatever makes you happy. Be you. Be happy. Body shamers, you are not nice. So leave us alone. And um, that's all I have to say. That's been Johnny B's Humble Opinion. God bless America.